Pakistani nation here in America. Praise Cat! Get on your knees and praise Cat, for you have sinned when you cross the border illegally. And you are going back. Bye bye. Bye bye. You can't hear me? Oh, you can hear me. You can hear me. What are we building? We're going to build a great, great wall. It's going to be called the Trump Wall. It's going to be high, high. It's going to be 14. 100 feet high, and you are not getting over it, hombre. Sorry, bye-bye. I'm calling ICE right now. I'm telling them to get the big van. You're a little chunky, so they, they might need the, uh, the big van here. I'm, I'm going to get the, uh, the, the high-quality van, because, yeah, we, we got some little hombres in this crowd. Like I said, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, and I'm going to assume that none of them are good people. Just look at them. They're communists. They would be good people if they were people, but they have to be people to be good people, so that's just not possible. Because communists are not people. Let's, let's be honest. Communists don't have a soul. And, but we've been over this before. You have to go back! Oh yeah! You know what? Instead of free welfare, there is something we're gonna do. To. It's not a free lunch, it's a free helicopter ride. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're clearing out the leftist scum. You know what's sad? You know what's really sad? This is a leftist city. Like, we're in your territory, kicking your ass, and there's nothing you can do about it except cry. It's so pathetic. All you're doing is sitting here and crying. We won. We won. There's nothing you can do about it. And I, I, I stand here in your space, and I say this as respectfully as I can. If you don't tell black people what we need to do. I understand. And, I understand what you're saying. Also respectfully. Yeah. Respectfully. Well, respectfully, if that is your position, then I will talk only to white people. We'll be back here in 10 years having the same conversation. Don't tell me what to say. And I'm not going to ever call on you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wait, you want me to tell you what my husband thinks? My husband is not the Secretary of State, I am. <laughs> so you ask my opinion, I will tell you my opinion. I'm not going to be channeling my husband. I suppose I could have stayed home and baked cookies and had teas, but I, what I decided to do was to fulfill my profession, which I entered before my husband was in public life. And I will fight back against so-called right to work. Right to work is wrong for workers and wrong for America. Now, having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Well, the choice for working families has never been clearer. I need your help to get Donald Trump's record out to everybody. Nobody should be fooled. So shame on you, Barack Obama. It is time you ran a campaign consistent with your messages in public. That's what I expect from you. Meet me in Ohio. Let's have a debate about your tactics and your behavior in this campaign. I am sick and tired of the negative, dark, divisive, dangerous vision and behavior of people who support Donald Trump. It is time for us to say no. We are not going backwards. We're going forward into a brighter future. Oh, I know the Bernie people came to say that. We're very sorry you're leaving. <laughs> what difference at this point does it make? Because we're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. Right, Tim? Now, you, you are, you are, you are entitled to your opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. Somebody follows that gentleman out and stages an intervention. Well, first of all, stage an intervention. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal.
world star. This motherfucker literally just told me, no, you need to leave. Fuck you too. This nigga just told me that he can't give me no water. He told me he can't give me no water. I have to buy something first. I'm not about to buy nothing. Even even though I got the money, I'm not about to buy shit just to get a cup of fucking water. These motherfuckers are racist as fuck. Racist, my nigga. Racist as fuck, my nigga. I'm not about to, I'm not about to buy, I'm not about to buy shit just to get some water, my nigga. I got the money. Niggas ain't broke. I ain't no. You have a good day. Hi, hi. Racist bitch. Racist bitch. Racist bitch. Racist bitch. Racist bitch. Do what you gotta do. You gonna get fired on too, bitch. Fuck you. Y'all see, hey corporate. Y'all see, one of your employees just threatened me. One of your employees just threatened me. Bet. Bet. Bet, bet, racist bitch. Fuck you in this place. Fuck all y'all. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Y'all racist. This nigga's racist too. That, why you think he? Why you think he hiding from the camera? Why you think he hiding from the camera? Cause he don't want to give me. That's not. That, that's not fucking law. Like you have to give me something to drink, my nigga. It's a hundred degree. It's a hundred. Let's go. Turn it up. I know I'm cute. I know I'm cute. You fat. You're fat. You talking about somebody ain't cute and you fat. You're fat as fuck. Like what? You work at McDonald's, bitch. Like what? You work at Taco Bell, whichever one it is. You, you work at a fast food place. Do what you gotta do, and I guarantee I'ma hop over that counter and fire on you. Guarantee. You see, y'all see, she threatening me though. I'm not ordering shit out of here. I feel like an elf. Without my extensions, without my wig, without my ears or my makeup, I don't feel like myself because I'm in a journey to become a real life plastic elf. I spent around $30,000 in my surgeries. Uh, I did around 30 with my nose, jawline, liposuction, changed my eye five times. Uh, removed wrinkles, removed freckles, and bleached skin in my whole body, also hair removal. In order to complete my journey as a plastic elf, I need 10 surgeries more. Reshape my hairline, make my face look tight, also re uh, another nose job, another jawline with implants, and change my eye color with intraocular implants. Becoming an elf changed my life in so many ways that I can start describing it. It helped in my uh, social relationships, it helped in my job. So many people started to ask me where I get my costumes, where I get my wigs, where I get my contact lens, where I get my ears. So I make a business with it. I started to become an elf because for me they are the perfect expression of beauty. I'm kinda cold because I don't have relationships that much, like romantic relationships because I look them as a distraction of my goals. I want to change myself first before starting to think in someone else. Are you fucking retarded? The hell's the matter with you? We'd see nothing that we can work, that I can work with President Bush on, and I'm disappointed. Understands the priorities of the American people, and they are not with President Bush, excuse me, President. Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> President Bush. I never thought I'd pray for the day that you were president again. And a lot of those people voted for George, for what's his name? Yeah. The president of the United States. I'll, I'll give. I'll honor the position. First, he tries to charm you. President Bush tries to charm you. If that doesn't work, Trump. he tries to bully you. Clean that ceiling. I said, said President Bush. I'm sorry. I meant to say. It's hard for me to say it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor President Bush, I apologize. Useless scum and shitbag. While you were behind bars. It's literally what keeps me alive. It keeps me from, from, from feeling like I'm in the wrong body. It feel, you know, like I get, I, I get these horrible feelings. I used to get these horrible feelings like I just want to rip my body apart. The Army ultimately granted her request, and then five months ago, after seven years in prison, a gift from a parting president. Clemency. I feel very comfortable that uh, justice has been served. You haven't spoken to President Obama. What would you say to him if you could? Thank you. <laughs> you had a chance. That's all I wanted. You wanted a chance. That's all I asked for was a chance. That's it.